set aside for job creation is just electioneering. Now that plan aims to provide training for employment and foster entrepreneurship, but the Public Service and Commercial Union has also entered the fray and have given the project a thumbs down. Joining us in studio is the Secretary General, Tahir Maipa, and you say that it's political gimmicking that is being used by uh, the Minister at the expense of a crucial um, um, institution as such as the UIF. Uh, a good afternoon to you, but tell us why is it that you've got this view? Uh, good afternoon and thank you for having me. Look, let's, let's understand, uh, we need to go backward a little bit. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of UIF? UIF has been created from monies from the workers. And yes, they are getting some money from uh, the PIC following the investment that they are making. Now, in 2019, when the mandate of the Department of Labor was changed to employment and labor, uh, it was a transition where they've been entrusted with a uh, responsibility to create jobs, which was a good thing. We all welcome that because of we know the circumstances of the country. And the Department of Labor already had infrastructure in the regions and in the provinces in a, in a form of labor centers where they were training as their mandate from time in memorial. This training was meant to make sure that those employees who lose jobs, they get activated into those labor centers, they get retrained so that they can go and look for, for other jobs. All those labor centers are now white elephants. Mm. Nobody's using them. Billions down the drain. Now, around 2020, there was a process where uh, the controversy surrounding the Tuja project of the five billion came to, to the fore. Now, this five billion project was meant to create 700 jobs, not job opportunities. Mm. 